Hi, Leo. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do a reading for you. And this one is going to be about positive possibilities. You know, what could be coming in of a positive nature. So I, I'm excited about this. I found out that I love doing this. Mm -hmm. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. You might check your other placements for a more complete picture, or if this doesn't resonate with you. Okay, let's see what we have to start with. Wombat spirit, be at home. Okay, what this tends to talk about, it can be literally being at home, feeling like you're at home. It could also be being at home within yourself, within your own skin. So this could be saying that this is where you currently are or potentially what you need to go for, okay? So it could be that there is something going on in your life that is a little bit of a challenge where you're not really feeling at home, right? Within your own skin. So we're going to need to get some more cards to find out a little bit more. See if we can figure this out. Okay, what else do we have? Anger. Well, me oh my. Okay. Well, that's kind of an obvious. If there is something that has been making you angry, it really needs to be dealt with. Uh, it's a possibility that something could be coming in that might bring about this emotion. But remember, this is the positivity that's coming in. So I would say, if you have been angry, or something's coming up where you get angry, it's going to be very short-lived. But I can see how these two could go together very well. When a person is angry, depending on what's causing it, oftentimes they really don't feel at home within their own skin. Mm -hmm. It's a heightened emotion of um, a challenging time, right? All that glitters. Okay. I can see some clarification needing here, needing to come in. All that glitters is telling you, you know, the old saying, all that glitters is not gold. So it's quite possible that you are seeing something that is an untruth or maybe only seeing part of the truth, right? Which could be making you angry. Therefore, you're not really feeling at home within yourself. Now, the solid glitters could be anything in your life. This is a general reading. It could be you, right? Something um, where maybe you're leaving something out when you're communicating with others. Or vice versa, they're leaving something out when communicating with you. It could be related to your job, family, love life anything but it is saying you know look out for this make for sure that what you're seeing or being involved with is real don't be fooled by something that's you know pretty and shiny right okay let's get some tarot and see what's going on here and clarify so like i already said remember this is what is positive that's coming in? So I would say this is going. Mm -hmm. It's If it's in your life now, it's leaving. If it's coming in, it's leaving. But it depends on when you see this. You know, it could already be gone. It could, these two could be what has made you feel not at home. Okay, let's see what we have. Absolutely beautiful. So this might be saying you are feeling at home within your own skin. Okay? Because the Ten of Cups is where you and everybody you love are feeling very happy. 
you know, feeling united, feeling this warmth together. It's a beautiful energy. It's one of my favorite cards. And it's coming out under the uh, be at home wombat spirit, right? So either you are feeling this way or you will be. I get the feeling it's a will be, mostly because of these two cards. But let's get some more and see what we find out. Okay. Here, the hermit. This is you going within and finding your enlightenment, right? Finding the answers to the questions that you have. It's coming out under anger. So, it is quite possible that it is another person or another situation that is this is involved in and you're going within to figure it out, figure out the correct way to respond to this. Or it could be you, either way. Hopefully when we clarify, we'll get uh, more answers. But this is saying that you are going in word to figure this out. Beautiful Ace of Pentacles. The colors are so close, look at that, okay. This is a brand new beginning, one that is going to prove to be very abundant. You know, an abundance is different to everybody. It could be literally your pentacles, you know, finances, money. It could be love, it could be anything, but it's a brand new beginning. So, you know, this is starting to come together a little bit to me. It kind of looks like maybe you've been going through this, whether it's coming from you or to you. But, you know, it's one of these like lesson learned kind of things that you'll be learning from this on how to achieve this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Ah, Six of Pentacles, beautiful. This is a give and take energy. Um, and it's like one of balance. So bringing in the balance. Okay. Mm. Balancing this out, balancing this out and this, which is bringing in, or um, I should say, balancing these out by going within, using your intuition, your wisdom, your knowledge, figuring it out, which will be bringing in the happiness for you and the people you care about, and also bringing about a new beginning, one that's gonna be very lucrative for you. And it's because you're balancing, right? Everything's coming into balance the way it should. Okay, let's clarify some of these cards. Most of these cards. <laughs> because to me, it looks like the Oracle cards here are showing that you're going through a challenging time. Now down here, it looks beautiful. Up here, it looks more challenging. So the way, yeah, the way I see it is this either was going on or is going on. But that you are clearing this up and having a new beginning that's very balanced and filled with happiness and love. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a card for anger. The moon. This could be saying it's um, something that is has been hidden, which would go right over here, you know, into the all it glitters. But it's also saying for you to use your intuition. Down here, you're using your intuition, right? So finding your way, feed the good side. Use your intuition to find out how to solve this issue so you can be at home. Let's get a card for all the glitters.
Very nice. Okay, you have the King of Swords, and the King of Swords is very wise, um, and they make decisions based on what they know to be true, right? So for me, this is you being able to see through the fog, being able to see the truth. So I don't think you're going to have any issues at all with this. You'll be able to see right through it. But it is to say, be aware that the possibility exists that you might um, be confronted with a situation where there is some sort of either deception or, you know, uh, omission of something, but you'll see through it. And here, use your intuition. And Leo, you're very intuitive anyway, right? Just naturally. But use your intuition. Try not to um, get angry if possible, right? Feed the good side. But do take your action that you need to take. Go within. Find the answers. And here it's going within again, using your intuition. Find the answers. And taking the correct steps. Let's go ahead and get a card for be at home. Whoa, that one wanted to come out. Okay. Another beautiful card. Okay, be at home. The Wombat Spirit. This is home, in a sense. This is talking about leaving a legacy. It's a beautiful card. It's one of my favorites in the deck again. And if you notice, here's a 10. Here's a 10. This is... You and everybody you love being very abundant. You know, lots of pentacles. Like I said, leaving a legacy if you choose. Here is the same type of card, only with happiness. So, you getting this figured out is going to bring in abundance for you and everybody you love and happiness for you and everybody you love. So this be at home. I said, remember, it could be literally... Or it could be within your own skin. I think it's probably both. Mm -hmm. Because this is you and everybody you love. You and everybody you love. So that would say it's internal as well as external. Right? Okay, let's get a card for the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Beautiful. The World card. This is saying that you're going to have a successful completion of a cycle, therefore the beginning of a new one. And to me, the successful completion has to do with this. Taking care of removing this all that glitters and the anger from your life. Using your intuition and the truth to do so. And it's going to bring in this new beginning that's going to be extremely abundant for you. Beautiful. Okay, let's get one for the Hermit, which is talking about you going within and using your intuition and wisdom. And here, you know, also wisdom. To find the answers that you're looking for. Whoa, way too many cards. Well, okay. Yeah, all right, here we go. At the very top, you have the Fool. So this is saying it's a new beginning. And on this particular beginning, the Fool, you're supposed to be happy. Um, see this as an adventure, right? Go forward with curiosity and enthusiasm, right? This pack light, don't bring any negativity with you. But this is saying you need to see this as such an awesome thing to start. Here you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is going forward with love. And it's all kinds of love. It's love about family. It can be romantic love. It's a love of poetry, art, beauty. It's love itself. And here this is saying you need to also make yourself a priority 
take care of yourself, pamper yourself. This can be a challenge, right? So make for sure that you take the time for you that you need. And here you have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is like your um, connection with the divine. Okay? So it's like this you and the spiritual side of things. So it's different than the Hermit. The Hermit's going within and using their intuition here going to the spiritual side of things so they can be definitely connected but this is also learning right so learning about how to handle this and then at the very bottom was the chariot and the chariot is talks about you being driven being really um adamant about going forward and going forward. It's definitely an action-oriented card, one where you feel very adamant about getting this started. And if you notice, here you have an ending, which creates a new beginning. Here you have a new beginning. Here you have a new beginning. And this is going for that new beginning. Okay, let's get a clarifying card for the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe we'll get one. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, ooh, <laughs> look at this. All right, we have two. That's almost one. You have another new beginning, the Ace of Swords, which is you thinking clearly, you being able to see the truth and going for the truth, a new beginning of the truth, okay? And here is the Two of Wands, which is you know where you want to go. You're holding the world in your hands. You know what it is you want. You know where you're going to go. You're just in the process of figuring out how you're going to get there. And you could very well be leaving something behind, and I'm sure you are. And in this case, it is deception, anger, um, you know, the, these challenges that you're aware of. And that I, I'd say that make you angry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. What a reading. And at the bottom of this deck... We also have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups here and the Nine of Cups here. So this is talking about you yourself being very, very happy, as well as you and everybody you love being very, very happy. So kind of putting this all together here. Your first card is you being at home. And the way I'm seeing this now with all these cards is you want to be at home right? And because of potential deception, it brings in, a, you know, a really challenging emotion and actions potentially. And this is telling you that you can and do see through this. You know, here you're going within to find out using your intuition here, it's also about intuition and not seeing something all the way. You know, it could be something hidden. And that is what has been attempted here. But I keep getting the feeling that even though there is an attempt at this, that you are able to see through it. Mm -hmm. But if there's any doubt whatsoever, make sure you use your intuition. All right. And this is going to lead you over here to where you are at home. And I do think it's internal as well as external. You're going to be able to be at home in your own skin. You're no longer going to have to deal with these challenging energies because of a deception. And I don't know what it is about because the clarifying card isn't saying what it's about, but it is saying that you can see through it, you see clearly, and you're making decisions, wise decisions because of this, right? But when you do this, 
it brings about your ability to feel at home internally and externally, right? So you're at home within your own skin. You're at home with your family, the people you love. And taking care of this is going to bring in much abundance and love for everybody you care about, including yourself, right? So this is bringing in the end of this challenging cycle and the beginning of this beautiful, balanced, loving, happy, abundant life. You have the Ace of Swords, extremely clear thinking, knowing exactly where you want to go and you're heading in that direction. The Ace of Pentacles, abundance. So you're heading for abundance, a very abundant time. And I get the feeling it's you with those you love. And here, quickly covering this, you're going within to figure this out. Okay? A new beginning. The Fool. It's the beginning of the Fool's journey. Be excited. Be happy. Be enthusiastic. Look forward to this process. And here, the Knight of Cups, you are taking action that's filled with love. The Four of Swords is reminding you to make for sure that you make yourself a priority. It's very important to take good care of yourself, right? Including pampering, um, whatever it is that you need, making for sure that you take the time to do that. Being in touch with the divine. And here, definitely going forward with what you want and bringing in the balance. So this is beautiful. Challenge here, but not a problem. It's being all wrapped up with abundance and love for you and everyone you care about. Beautiful. Definitely a new beginning. One without deception and anger. Okay, let's get a card from the angels to see what they would like to share. Choose a new direction. Definitely. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Getting out of this, you are choosing a new direction. Getting out of this challenge and going into this beautiful, love-filled and abundant time. Thank you so much. I really hope this helps. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe. Um, it will help the channel to grow. And it also helps me to know if I was able to help you. So thanks so much and much love. Bye.